Every day you have conversations with family, with friends, co-workers, social networks, on the internet, off the internet, it's all throughout your life. And I know that most of those connections are not really that, a connection. It's rather what you feel compelled to experience based upon your perception of what is expected of you. And this is based upon your beliefs. And it's based upon what you think other people want of you. So you recreate yourself in a way that you believe they want you to appear rather than knowing what you really are and using that persona to exhibit yourself within your life. Life by its very nature is constantly communicating. Yet if you don't know who you are to you, there's no way that you can take part in anything meaningful. So where do you go to find yourself? How is it possible to connect in such a way that you're no longer feeling like you're wasting your time when you're trying to be in common union with somebody else? Is there a way to know who you are? Is there a way to step aside from the fear of knowing who you are? If you allow your life to live itself, rather than attempting to be what another person or institution expects of you, then you'll find yourself easily connecting within a very natural flow. The acquiescence of life within itself is far removed from any concept of control or analyzing, goal planning, ambition. It's rhythmic, flowing, inherently coherent and congruent within itself. And that is what feels the very best in your body. It is the way the law of attraction works, the principle of resonance. It is the standing wave that you are transmitting the delight of being alive and knowing yourself from the framework of exactly what you know you desire to be. Nothing else, no other pretense, only the truth of you. You've become your own prisoner. You've placed yourself in a cell of your own making. You've locked the door and you've thrown away the key. At least you believe it's been thrown away. Yet that's not true because you can easily find it and use it. It's within your heart. Open the door wide. Step forth as you know you are and begin to allow yourself to live your life. You know exactly what makes you feel as though you're on top of the world. You know exactly how you want to appear in every single moment. There's no doubt in your mind, not a single doubt. And yet you believe that there is and you make that real for yourself. You have created this loosely held blueprint for the experience you call your life. The fear, the anger, the stress that you experience within its command are caused by not allowing yourself to unfold as you naturally know yourself to be. So anything that feels uncomfortable, you're simply saying yes to the discomfort instead of saying, hey, what? No, none of this for me. I want to manifest in the glory of what I am. And don't tell me that you don't know who you are, because if you don't know, who does? No one knows you as you do. No one experiences the day-to-day -day desires and wants and stressors and hopes you do as you. So you're the only one who can decide if you're going to be yourself or continue to be someone else as you pretend to be. That which is the source resides within a constant state of allowance of whatever is. Every aspect of creation, no matter the dimension, form, or frequency, exists within a beneficent allowance. Suffering is the result of resisting the flow of this beneficence due to a belief that you know better, or more, or something other than allowing life to live as it naturally desires. When I say life, I'm referring to your energetic expression within your physical form. It wishes to embrace every breath, every moment with the richness possible within it. Nature allows life to be. So do you. That's a question. Do you allow your life to be? Do you allow you to be who and what you are exactly as you know yourself to be without pretending to be something else? And I know this brings up fear and it brings up confusion. Look at it. It's only a belief you have about how you were raised, what your parents meant to you, what your spouse, your friends, your peer group, your social network means to you. 
None of it is real. So as you live, you search for means to relieve the uncomfortable feelings through attachments to people and situations and other things. Yet the resistance to being you comes right along with you, so the discomfort continues. Pleasure and enjoyment is a natural gift of life itself. It's a constant dynamic flow, not a need or a requirement or a demand. When you live as a requirement in your life or through the perception of another, you betray yourself and therefore betray all of life within your union. Since the natural state of your energy frequency is a reflection of your feelings, being in a constant state of integrity where you know you within your true reality paves the way for all you wish to come your way. That's the interesting aspect, because you can't fool the energetic output-input of this dimension. While you may believe you're in a state of authenticity, if you feel resistance, fear, doubt, or lack of trust within yourself, that becomes your true feeling, and that is what is responded to within your life. And I really want to emphasize this. You cannot fool the energetic wave. What you are really feeling is what you will experience, not what you pretend to feel. With each breath, you have the capacity and the invitation to live fully as you are without compromise or regret. Allowing yourself to do so is the command of this dimension to give you permission, to give yourself permission to be yourself. When you are authentic in your offering of yourself, you give everyone and everything else permission to be themselves as well. Knowing who you are implies that all that is experienced within your life is perfect exactly as you are. When you no longer feel a struggle or resistance to that which is your choice through vibration, you're free within your free will contrast to enjoy every aspect of your life. Then you can make discerning choices without feeling any sense of fear or doubt or mistrust. And when you live in the natural state of being you, you align with the natural flow of this world. There is no resistance, no effort, no struggle. You are allowing your life to live itself while you experience the benefit of truly living life. There is absolutely no reason in existence why you should choose to be anything less than the completeness you are. Any thought you have to the contrary is a lie, a deep betrayal of your innermost knowing. You know that I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. And you know also exactly why you may decide to live as less than that which you know yourself to be. So don't kid yourself. You have a choice in this moment to be all you can be or not. And you can choose today to take a step in the direction of your own personal truth. Live your life in this moment of listening to these words as you are aware brings you the greatest sense of harmony. You're the only one who knows you and you are the only one who can truly live your life as you. <laughs>